I might have to hold it down tomorrow. I mean, next week. I don't think I'm gonna be here. So I can do any type of show y'all want. All the fuckery I put together. Did you? Where you doing? Where you going? I'm going to Maryland. It's not set in stone. Yeah, you should have got capitals on the on the things, bro. Hmm? On the shirt. Yeah. No. It didn't look good. Lowercase look good to you? Mm. I got my it really forgot good. to order my camel jacket this weekend. Gotcha. Whenever I'm, uh, you do. Really oversized camel jacket, so. Cause I'm it's like I I wanna wear it I'm just walking around. What is technical difficulties? Yes. Yeah, man. It's not giving the option to go live now. It's not giving yeah, the option to go live on Facebook or on Facebook. Facebook. What? See if you add a title to the name of the show if it's gonna it's gonna give you the option. Come on. Yeah, see if adding the title helps. Put brown holy water or something. No. <laughs> Giants must have lost. Giants lost. They lost. They must have kicked a field goal. Buccaneers hit a field goal. Wow. So. Wow. I ain't with no money this week. I lost like four games. This shit was $1,200. I need that. Brother man, would you... You want me to call preach so he can walk you through it? Um, do it with him, bro. He preaches t- yes. taking over the computer and all yeah. that shit. Mm. You got a cut this week? Mm-hmm. Why? Why? I didn't, I didn't want to name it, though. I just went, like, yeah. so my shit don't look rugged. I just went a little bit like that, a little bit like that. So you that. highlight your pigs? Like, yeah. I'm trying to let the full highlight. shit grow in. That's why I ain't touched the top of my shit, either. My yeah. shit coming in, though. She's yeah, about to get nasty. That's why you get nasty. Oh, you mad because Cookie got baby face? Oogie. I'm not mad at nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm Little baby face nigga. Mm. He was a kid, so. He's a fifth grader. Facts. <laughs> Rocking out with Robin and Crater. <laughs> yeah, Yo, what's up with you? Why you hating on us? Huh? Why you hating on us? Fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. Kid. We out here promoting Ron Hood Water Mad Hard his page, though. Just so you know. That's what's up, man. He's like, I don't wash and call. I sat for some Brown Holy Water. Hey, that young man rock. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> Somebody's like, yo, I, I just post we all here ready to go with technical difficulties. Abby's like, oh, okay, I thought, that, I was like, I thought they blocked me. Why? Oh, nah, I was, I was talking with Abby today. That's why. This shit gonna fuck up the time, though. Yeah, now Mike over here, like, I'm like, ah, what up, God? Oh, God. I don't even know what time we probably could stop. The next podcast is coming in after us, too? No, you're straight. Don't worry about afterwards. Nobody's after us no, today? No, no, yeah. All right. Oh, we got time. Yeah, we got time today.
told you. Let me put on your wig. I'm not taking off my wig. You should do that. What you got on? No, that's not happening. If you would've taken it off, I would've cried. What you got on? You got your wig cap? My hair. Yeah. You got your wig cap on? You got a wave cap? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get passionate and throw that shit. He was a man. Fuck out of here. That's good for the show. <laughs> somebody, son. somebody said we were live on YouTube though. though. Yeah, we go viral. Get mad. Wait, throw your no. wig. Somebody just said we were live on YouTube. You gotta do shit like. Can they hear us live man. on YouTube? Are we live on YouTube, bro? We live. My friend just said we live on YouTube. Well, now we're gonna open up on Facebook. Hold I bet. Uh-huh. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> 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 I'm telling them the antics. I'll say yo, throw your wig. <laughs> That's good for the show. No, fuck your nigga. I'll take your way up. Fuck out of here. That's it. <laughs> and you'll learn anything from your boy. Ridiculousness. Yo, Nick, Nick, so. Nick, 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 Cookie online giving advice about knowledge about closures and highlights. Highlighting highlights your face. Highlights on what? Your face. Oh. I'll be the face the highlight. So yeah, and keep, we don't now we put them on at the end. We you can just throw the intro on. and then we... Giving niggas, he he be sending me now that he he on to like well good wig and a bad wig is, he be trolling bitches Facebook now. He be sending me <laughs> screenshots with like he screenshotted it, edited and circled the fucking clothes. He's like what the fuck is this? You ain't even gotta know what a good wig and a bad wig is. Just, just you can look at it and tell like that shit's not. Nah, good. but yeah. hers was like my shit's get thrown in the garbage. Hers right was like this shit look good mm. though. But I'm just saying you ain't got no she parts in that. See her clothes yeah, though. Yeah, I, I don't have a clothes. Yeah, you got. <laughs> Is, you don't play it loud? It's playing right now. Yeah, we gotta hear it too. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk loud, talk loud. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, you got hairs now? with the fucking bumps and bruises. Yo, you get hairs? <laughs> Bro, can you... There you go. Let us know if y'all can hear us. Sorry, y'all. We having technical difficulties today, yo. Sorry for the delay. Sorry for the no audio. We just we sorry good. all around. Yeah, we good, we good. Brown, holy water, we some sorry-ass fucking people here today. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna get right. We trying to... Get the camera work and the visuals and the audios together. Bear with us, yo. Please. I think I think we good to go. Yeah, they said we hearing us, so let's roll. Take a Harris, but let's boogie. Okay, there we go. Finally, we on the four squares. Let's go. Let's boogie. Welcome to Brown Holy Water, y'all. Again, sorry for the technical difficulties. You know, we working on a new engineer today, so you know what I'm saying we working out the bumps and bruises but we gonna get right um it's your boy handsome line in the building and to my right let's go he ready no black success we here it's your favorite time boy Danny aka Georgie bad girl Tanya in the building and we got a dope show for y'all today like again sorry for the um delay but it's still the same shit man we gonna get going laugh jokes let's get it going first topic of the day we gonna talk about zodiac signs man uh, do you believe in astrology? And do you think you have the characteristics of your zodiac sign? You know, because everybody swear they, oh, I'm a Leo, I'm freaky, I'm this, I'm a crazy, I'm hard, I'm saying cold hearted. So, what's your sign? And do you believe you share them same characteristics? And do you believe in it? Let's go. Go that way. Nah. Uh, you go. Uh, if y'all on my Facebook page, y'all know exactly how I feel about this whole zodiac thing. I'm January 26th. I'm an Aquarius. And honestly, 
Honestly. Shout out to the Aquarius. Yeah, lots of Aquarius too. But honestly, this is just my opinion on it. It's fucking bullshit. Mm. For me, it's like people are who they are based on where they're born, how they were raised, who their influences are, um, their environment, their community, their friends, and how they react to all that. Not exactly when they were fucking born. You, It's like saying people... Like, your good or bad is based on the sun and the fucking moon, or just... I don't know, man, but I think it's absolute bullshit. Like, the last thing I want to hear is when I tell somebody I'm Aquarius, they're like, oh, by the way, y'all Aquarius mad stubborn. My grandma, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your damn grandma. You don't know me. So you don't believe in it at I all? I do not. I really... I mean, yes, I believe it. I, I can't say I completely throw it in the garbage because I do believe in energies and I, I believe in the law of attraction so it's kind of bogus to say you believe in law of attraction but don't mm-hmm. believe in astrology so there is some effect that your sign may may have but it's not set in stone it's not like Leos are stubborn Aquarius are, are, are happy Pisces are something it's, it, for me it's not that black and white you understand so it's like it take, it's more than just fucking Zodiac for me and for me it, it it's 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 honestly bullshit. So you you don't think that being that we are Aquarius mm-hmm. and some of the traits that they show in the like you know newspaper and internet some of the traits I do say I might have I f- I have some that's of those traits. That's a conditioned reflex. So you feel like just it's because you read it you putting it like People like, like yeah, self diagnosis. Yeah, I really have that trait like like when they self diagnosis or some yeah, shit. Self diagnose based on what somebody puts in front of you and then puts what you can attract yourself to but it's the same thing if you read all the traits all the signs they're based the same things with different words to describe them not true no. some signs say they like emotional we don't come off as emotional creatures we like cold hearted type thing like detached. I guess for me <laughs> detached that's a perfect word very like kind of detached but we have emotions but it's just hard to get to them or whatever I I think I do believe in it and the characteristics of some, like you said, it also it boils boy, down to where you're from, and that's who you're gonna be. But for the few Aquarius I've ever met, I always click with Aquarius, and we always been the same. Like my brothers Aquarius, we the same type of people. You know what I'm saying? I meet I'm saying, any Aquarius I meet, we kind of shit, and everybody says the same thing about Aquarius sign, even though but you can fight it. The funny thing is, like, it kind of is what it is. When I bump into people, the la- the very last thing in my mind is where, when the fuck you were born. Like, I would ask you your birthday, but I'm not thinking, oh, you a Pisces or oh, you a Libra. I'm thinking, all right, well, that's Libra. Your fucking birthday. <laughs> Libra. Libra. I'm fucking a Libra. Accent. Libra. Somebody's a Libra. <laughs> Libra, and I'm changing you my in, mouth. You, I'm not changing. You my in mouth. politics on us? <laughs> you in politics? <laughs> <laughs> Libra, Libra, potato, potato, suck my dick. Jo- anyway. <laughs> Georgie, do you believe in it? I sure do. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> astrologist. I am a zodiac. What's your sign, girl? What are I'm you? I'm a Libra, and I'm on a Scorpio cusp. Um, what does that mean? The cusp. She's I'm on a cusp right in between. Means, oh, okay, okay. Means I have both, both traits. Both traits. Um, I do believe in zodiacs, and I don't believe in zodiacs just because I read it. I believe in zodiacs because I'm an air sign, and... I like to pick people's brains. And what I do is I get to know people and then I compare their characteristics to their sign. Not everybody is the same because environment does play a part. Whether you're a female or male does play a part. All of these things do play a part. So with that being said, um, I do believe in them. Usually when I do read people here and there, I'm usually correct even when they fight it. So, I mean, that's all I got to say. Self-diagnosed me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so every day you check in the newspaper to see what kind of day you're going to have? You one of them type um, of people? I don't check the newspaper. I do read Zodiac signs, but it doesn't tell, it doesn't tell you what day you're going to have. It's kind of like a guide. It's not always the correct guy sometimes. It's a couple of days off or whatever, so but I do read them. All the characteristics you, you read about your sign, you feel it, it directly applies to you? Mm-hmm. All of them? Like, it's nothing like, no, that's not me. You don't have no, um, like... They say that Libras are um, indecisive, and it's not that we're indecisive. We just take a while. We weigh the pros and cons. And the reason why we that's do that everybody. is because... No, but the reason... It takes <laughs> us a while. And the reason why it takes us a while is because when we make a decision, we really go against it. Like, once we make a decision, we make a decision is final. So we want to make sure that we look at everything before we actually decide what we're going to do. Because once we do it, we stick to it. 
Okay, okay. Black success. Somebody has to fuck? fix your face. Come bro. on, man. Look, <laughs> Aggie, we started face, late, but bro. we fucking, man. We professionals, man. This is oh, what man. we do, man. Oh, Let's man. get it going, man. What's up? What's your sign, daddy? What's uh, 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 uh. First of all, I don't want no grown man. What's your name? What's your sign? Uh, uh, so I can uh, scoop up uh, from behind. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely Pisces, March 10th. You know what I mean, Pisces. But um, now I don't, I don't believe in that shit. You know, I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like that was like a great hoes excuse to be single. Like they don't was like, why that, are you bro? single? And she was just like, she just started comparing all her boyfriends and all her shit, and she had to make it make sense about why she ain't had no nobody or why all men ain't shit, because she had to have an excuse for everybody, you know what I mean? And that's how that <laughs> shit came about with the zodiac signs and the characteristics, <laughs> all the breakdowns came about. What about I mean? you? Fuck the shorty. Let's talk about you, man. Do you? What, what about he's me? a Pisces. Pisces. Do you? What you don't feel like you? She, I'm pretty sure you read character, the characteristics, characteristics of the Pisces. Pisces. Do you feel like you share the characteristics of a Pisces since you said it's bullshit? No. I Google something. I, said, I say, Google shit right I now, said, nigga. Big headness, short, <laughs> <laughs> short, <laughs> cocky. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking cocky, yeah, I'm on that. I'm on that list. But Talk Pisces black. is supposed to be like emotional yes. and all that stuff. Black, you're emotional, bro. That's not me. Bro, you're mad emotional, bro. That's not me. You're mad emotional, bro. That's not me, My nigga, you get high of Ronnie Water and then make karaoke videos. What you mean you're not emotional? Yeah, I, I just love R&B. I'm a songwriter. <laughs> right. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to listen to R&B. I'm a songwriter. I got I to gotta get, you know, brand new thoughts and brand new ideas within my head. I don't even know. I don't even fucking know what... Like what characters of Aquarius are? I can't honestly I sit know. here and tell you. Would. <laughs> well, come on. What are the characters uh, of Aquarius? Well, we detached. Everybody know that. We detached allegedly. Uh, Everybody's uh, different though, but they yeah have the same. I should have had them. Matter of fact, I'm having more deck. I mean, keep talking. I'm gonna pull up some of the characteristics <laughs> of all our signs, man. If there's no. Nah, there's no, we don't it, need it. <laughs> if that's the case, then everybody should have their perfect match. Exactly. Jesus Christ. But no, because there are different things that play a part. All right, you all right, hold on. You have your environment. Wait, you have wait, wait, wait. that you went through. Wait, 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 fuck that. So let's, let's go. Uh, do you feel too many women try to date based off their Zodiac sign? Come on, because we jumping. Let's go. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Go, Black. First, let's go. Black. Yes. Tell us about that they, story you about to tell us. Of course they do. <laughs> tell that story. Of course, they, of course women date off their Zodiac. You got to understand, people... People are so, people are so lost right now. People are so fucked up that they have to, we got to, people don't want to be wrong. People don't want to know that the problem is them. Nigga. That shit is so crazy. People don't want to say I'm the problem. That has nothing so, to do with so Zodiac it, it does. So instead of saying that I'm the problem, they want to put the problem on other people. They want to say no. That's the problem. So thing, now they're saying Pisces is this. I can't date no one too emotional. Scorpios is this. I can't date no, no one too aggressive. Libras is this. I can't the date Gemini's no one too into themselves. I can't date no one. I can't date Leos. They're too. They're too. Co- you have an excuse for every fucking. Se- no, the problem is you. You're the problem. <laughs> You're not it's the not the zodiac. You. It's not the month. It's not the day. It's not the in between the in weenies. You're the fucking problem. You know what I mean? And that's the. Fuck and that's true. That's the truth. That's true. It be you. If you can't, blame, you, 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 you can't sign. lock your legs. Yes. If you Georgie. can't lock your legs, you're the fucking problem. You're a hoe no matter what zodiac sign you are. <laughs> Georgie, so, yes. You you date based off the zodiac? So you said you the person that really really believes in it out of all of us. Yes. So do you really base like? Do nah. I date based off Not the like zodiac the, sign? Oh my god, no. he's a Leo. I can't fuck with him. Or oh, he's oh, a. No. You know what I'm saying? It's he's a, a cancer. I can't it, do it. It gives me. It gives me a guide to what type of personality. It helps me interact with people. That doesn't. I can sit here and say that. Oh, I don't. I don't like Virgos or something like. Like I, don't, I went and date a Virgo, but you never know how I connect with a Virgo. But there may be some characteristics about them that may rub me the wrong way. Have you ever met? A person that act totally different from their sign? No. So you're 100% all in on the Zodiac? Yes. Every person you met with that sign, you was like, I knew it. Fucking cancer, you fucking it asshole. Come, it com- <laughs> no, it, it, it comes out in different ways. Like, characteristics are characteristic. That doesn't, like I said, everybody is different. Every single person is different, no matter what Zodiac sign you are. People play into the Zodiac sign way too much. Like, but so, it's all about your char- Your characteristics are there. Let me ask you a question, right? If you didn't know none of our birthdays and you just chill with us and hang with us, you think you could tell us our Zodiac sign without us telling you? No. Why not? 
because off of characteristics, you should already know what char- type of. There, but there are some characteristics that are similar to others, like some mm. Virgos. Like, could you break it down to like three? Areas. Like, you out of the, yeah, these I three? Could do that. Whenever you're ready for me to hit a home run, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Women that um base their relationship status is off the of zodiac. Like, Listen, it's like when a black took my whole speech. I'm gonna still say it again. Like, it's not change up. I'm a, sampling, I'm a sampling. It's called sampling. It. I'm gonna finesse, <laughs> finesse it. So it's not necessarily um the the zodiac is what you're going for and not going for. It's just it's just an excuse f- for your shortcoming. It's and the funny thing is everybody who not, not Daniel but I but like most most women I know who are very single and had all the ins and outs about all the zodiac signs and Sagittarius men of this and Aquarius men of this and I can't do this and this niggas a Leon or whatever and a Libra and when they got in a fucking relationship all that shit went out the fucking window. I never heard a peep about astrology afterwards. Why? <laughs> they didn't need an excuse anymore because why? Now they got a man, so now they don't have to excuse themselves. Okay, first of all, you I'm not very the, single. I, 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 I let you be great. You say you're not very single? I'm not very single. But go ahead. You got a blue I'm thing? Saying, I, 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 and I got quite a few of them on my Facebook page. I'm like, who? Now you got a nigga now like, you not Miss Cleo any fucking more? You not predicting shit? You not predicting behaviors? Why? Because you were single and lonely. And instead of saying I'm a piece of shit, because a lot of people can't self truth, they can't, they can't honestly say, listen, I'm I dropped the ball in that relationship. I wasn't doing the best. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. You know, I'm I think I'm a good person, but I could have been better to this person. People really you wasn't do being that. the best you. Any single Church per- coming any, soon. Most single women, <laughs> I've never had a conversation with a single woman describing themselves how a relationship went fucking bad. And they said I fucked it up. It was always the nigga, a hundred percent. A hundred percent of the time, it was always a nigga. For me, all right, perfect fucking example. Perfect example. If you, if you believe in Zodiac so fu- so much in co- compatibility, this is me talking about myself fucking up. When my boyfriend and I was talking about the one that left me for somebody else because we weren't working out, the person he left me for was my exact sign. So I can't say the compatibility wasn't there or he wanted somebody who was an Aquarius. I was a fucking Aquarius, so why didn't I work out for him? The problem was me. The problem was the better. things he, I he, did wasn't doing it. What had nothing to do with my fucking He wanted to uh, get the home run. What's up? You want the home run or not? <laughs> Would you like the home run today or not? I don't know. We love it to you. <laughs> Swing, nigga. <laughs> Swing. Yo, big man, Swing. I'm gonna need you to focus in. Focus in on Swing. me, black success. Everybody, listen. Focus on black. I'm gonna need y'all to chill out real quick. No, black, black success. That's a lot. Yes, that's me. <laughs> so listen, I'm gonna tell you this. So it don't matter about zodiac signs, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because everyone represents a house. Everyone represents a house. And when it comes to most females, and I'm only using females because I'm a guy, right? <laughs> but you can use this for guys as well. When it comes to most females, if you're with a guy, a guy represents your house. That's what you're coming home to. So if you're putting in there, you know, a jealousy living room, a, a insecure bathroom, a, um, a, I could do everything go by myself. TV, uh, 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 I. I could buy dildos. I don't need you to do do nothing. Bedroom set. Then you can't be mad about what you come home to. So what I'm what I'm really saying is that at the end of the day, it don't matter what his zodiac signs say. You end up you you end up curving who the person is when they're with you. When they're with you, you adjust who the person is. The person adjusts to you and and become who you need them to be for you. So a lot of people that end up making zodiac signs their excuses the truth is they end up being a fuck boy or an asshole or a dickhead because that's who you converted them to motherfucking be don't complain about the home you go don't complain about the house you go home to if that's what you created i am black Lexus. success yeah i already know what i agree i ain't gonna lie this, this shit was only like a single he ain't hit no home run that shit was <laughs> All that camera time and that <laughs> shit was a fucking <laughs> dud. Right? Somebody in the it's comments right. saying the girl probably was born in February, you born in January. So that, that makes motherfucker. Yes. Her birthday was three no, days before no, mine. No, no, no. Look, look, I'm look, telling you, I 
invest her life. It. I read it. No, she read it. I read it. Stop. Like, stop. She's yeah, invested. in January. What's your point? But what I'm saying is there's a difference. It's a difference <laughs> in a whole bunch of things. Y'all making it into a, a, a category, like y'all categorizing it into just signs. I said about five times while I was up here that you have an environment. You have whether they're a female or male, what they've been through in their life. All of those things take place, but characteristics are still the same. So who the hell are you compatible ways. with? Because you single as fuck. <laughs> What's up, nah, what's up? Let me come on, come on, come on. Let me make this clear. Let me make this clear. Let me make this clear. Danny is, Danny is, Danny is single by choice. Let's stop. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's stop the bullshit. That's a fact. Let's be no, 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 no. Danny is bad motherfucker. Prince, no, Prince. That's the ground you want to prince. I told you. Thank you, Danny is single by choice. Let's not act like Danny ain't bad or we were single. We went and played with Danny. We know the real way. So at the end of the day, no, no, I'm not gonna let you attack. Me, Lon, and Danny all went to the same hey, yo, school. But you know what, what I mean? Lon, you compatible with, for real. Lon gave me a little letter one day and said, yo, get this shit to Danny. I gave it to Danny. They're like, nah, I'm good. And this is then, Lon been feeling the way about Danny. So this is why I keep coming at her. I, I can't take it no more. I can't take it no more. Somebody got my back. I can't take it no more. I got to I gotta lay down the law. This shit is wrong. It's wow. wrong. You Queens dudes gotta respect the Blackberry curve, all right? Respect the Blackberry curve. You know what's funny? Lies on you. I'm no. happy I got my phone because I got camera work all this curve. <laughs> I got well, the we conversation got of the curve. Yeah, I got receipts. I got screenshots. And I'm petty <laughs> like that. <laughs> petty Hardaway. Hello. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> all right, we off this Zodiac shit, man. We gonna jump to our next topic. We gonna talk about parenting slash step parents, all right? Now, if y'all don't know, the Brown Holy Mortar staff, only me and Georgie are parents at this time, you know. Black success will soon be, and I'm pretty sure once she get tired of getting rid of these abortions, she was to have one too. You know what I'm saying? She got a want to sign an abortion clip. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about parenting. All right, what style, what type of parenting style do you think you would have? Like, would you be like a strict parent or are you a strict parent? Would you like a friendly parent that wanna be friends with their kid? You're the compromising parent, you know what I'm saying? Like, based off your upbringing and what you want to take from that and how you feel you're going to do for yourself. All right, we just going to talk about how you feel you're going to be as a parent. Well, I'm not going to talk to y'all non-parent ass niggas. I'm going to talk to her <laughs> first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Danny, what kind of parent are you? I'm a strict parent. Um, strict? Mm -hmm. Like, be home at 3 o'clock on a dot mm -hmm. and call it? Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm lenient sometimes. I, you know, I... I've worked with like teens and and kids for a very very long time, so I am I'm very I'm very strict with them. Like I treat them like my kids, but I am a very strict parent. Education is very important to me. Um, what you do, how you conduct yourself, how you speak, but that's how I was brought up. Like you speak a certain way when you're around adults, and you way different than you speak when you're with your friends and stuff like that. Like I'm very big on those things and doing what you're supposed to do. So, yeah. so you more so of a strict parent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Black, when you become a daddy. Yeah. When, you get a little sushi lid. When little sushi dropped that little um <laughs> fucking egg. Hiroshima. Yeah, yeah. Egg that little egg, egg roll. roll. Yeah. Little egg roll. <laughs> little egg roll. How you feel? Like what kind of parent? First of all, I right, cause it's gonna be a difference between being a a parent of a boy and a parent of a girl. I can yeah. see it now. When I was just had my son, I was more like, you know, tough and like no type of emotional Cause you gotta raise them to be a little hard around the edges or whatever. But now you got a girl, so you gotta soften up. Even though Callie's a fucking nutcase, <laughs> like she's all over the place. But you gotta when she cries, like it's gonna melt your heart no matter what. I don't care nobody say. If you got a daughter and you taking care of your kids for real, when your daughter cry or get like mad, it's gonna break you no matter how tough you are. So, how do you feel? What type of parent you will be? Uh, the type of parent I'm aspiring to actually be is uh not only not only a strict parent but you know i feel i feel like times are times are times are different i feel like everyone feel like it's only one way to skin a cat uh, a cat when it comes to parenting and that's wrong you know 
Uh, the way I was raised, I was I was raised pretty strict, and that was good for me. It helped me uh, see the best of both worlds, from the educational side to the street side. Because at first, you know, you don't really understand what your parents are trying to keep you away from. And then when you finally get to go outside, because you got enough education, enough common sense, you got slapped around a couple times, now you go outside and you're like, damn, like, why this dude like that? Why this boy... And it's like, now you understand what your mom didn't want you to get involved in or be, or be uh, 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 peer, peer pressured into. And um, that's the kind of parent I'm hoping to be. Be like what my mom and dad gave strict? me. Strict? Yeah, strict is, strict, strict is good. You know, I, strict I, is good. As long as you're balanced. I can't, you got, yeah, you got to be like, more so like, I, have you ever seen like my wife and kids? I try to be like Michael Kyle, like, Comedy teaching lessons not strict, but I'm gonna let you do some dumb shit. As long as it don't hurt I don't, you, but I don't. I don't. But I'm gonna don't teach the lesson. Strict, I don't. Stri- I don't think strict mean that you're not fun and that you're yeah. not doing yeah, family shit. Uh, nah, some strict. Me. But it's some. It's some. It's some things that you know. I I feel like me. Me just being me. I used to work in uh Cornell U University. I used to work in uh like the little shit where all the doctors live at and shit, right? And um. I see the way different races raise their kids. And to to me, some of those kids from different races, they have too much power. They they could change what you was going to make for fucking dinner. They could change oh, what your is. plans was for the weekend. Mm-hmm. They could change what you might do. You're not having all that no, power. If, if mommy making macaroni and cheese, then my G, you're going to have macaroni and cheese. If you don't, unless you're allergic to it, my dude, you're going to go to sleep hungry if you're eating macaroni Fact. and cheese. Thank you, that, 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 you that's fucking fine. That's me. And that's what I'm saying. Are you sitting at that table all mom, day I like this? Parents, listen, Spoiler. I know a lot of parents that, that'll make two different meals. That's just a fact. by the kid. Hell that's, no. that's wrong. You're giving them too much at, a, at a fucking young age, they way too much power. They don't Get understand. The fuck out of here. They don't understand respect. Let's go. Let's go. Man. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let's go. I, I say all the time, like one thing that scares me shit less is being a parent because I there's no manual on it. There's no. It's not. There's like you just is the, the one thing you can't call. You so how you think you want to be? Parent. You could be the best parent in the world. Your kid could still go either left or right. But for me, um. Just the kind of parenting style I was exposed to. I think that's the one I want to pass on to my kids. Um, in my house, we were big on a merit system. Like, nothing was handed to me. Everything I had to work for. As li- Even if as little as it was, um, it's something that I had to put genuine effort for, and I was rewarded with stuff. It was Stuff was never handed to me. So, like, now that I'm an adult... I have a certain work ethic because of that. Like I don't, ha- I don't, I don't. I'm not a fan of handouts because I was since I was a kid, I was taught to work for stuff and earn things and be proud of things that you earn. Um, also, I'm <clears throat> big on respect. Um, that's something my kids gonna have to do. And respect for everybody. Respect for elders. Respect for your for your colleagues. A lot of people have this thing where like people gotta earn my respect. I am more of you gotta earn my disrespect. And I'm respectful to people, even if they're not respectful to me, because it's not taking anything away from me. Uh, just being disrespectful for fun. Um, last but not least, like I'm gonna be a fun parent. I'm a piece of shit. My dad is a comedian. Like he, I got my humor. If y'all, if y'all on my Facebook page, y'all see the shit my father be saying. Like I got my sense of humor for my dad. He, we were both into crude fucking humor. We both we, we make some crazy ass fucking jokes. But I also knew in my house we had rules, and I had to follow those fucking rules, or else it was not not a good look. Discipline wise, I never got spankings. I was fair I was fairly I was because I was fairly a good kid. My siblings, they got their ass whooped, but I was basically I got beat like one time in my life. But it was just from I don't know, like like I said, I can't call it, but discipline, respect, and humor in the middle of the day. My kids have to have a personality. I don't want no fucking dry ass fucking kids. And I also want my kids to do fun things like and and last but not least, I am big on a two-parent house. I Once again, I can't call it. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I am big on a two-parent house. Um, I want a mommy and a daddy, and a lot of kids, I need my kids to understand that love is possible. Black love is possible. Mommy and daddy being together for a long time is possible. A connected All family love is, is possible. possible. All love. All love is possible. All love, love is possible. <laughs> <laughs> All love matters. <laughs> But I'm just saying, you know, I want them to also see that. Not some. I don't want them to learn it from a meme on Instagram or post on Facebook. I want them to see shit in my house. Best way to learn. <clears throat> I hear you touched on um, the discipline about your child. So how do you think 
one should discipline their children when they do something wrong? Like, is it like straight punishment or spankings for your own child? We talking about for your own child and everything. Well, how would you, like? How are you going to discipline your child? Once again, I can't call it. I don't have kids. I can't say it's what I'm definitely going to do. You could know but, if you're going to beat spankings, ass in the future. Yo, spankings are not out of the fucking picture. Like, my nigga, I will connect to your fucking face. Like, don't play with me. Some people feel like they don't have to. <laughs> don't play with me. It's not going to happen. But I, that's not going to be my goal, too. I know some parents have that as their goal, too. Some, some happen. They raise their hands. But my parents, like I said, I got, I got beat one time in my entire life. But I always, always knew there was a possibility of getting a beating. But... You know, my kids need to know they're going to be retributions for anything that they do that is out of order. I got rules in my house. Don't follow my fucking rules. Yeah, little nigga. It, we could, it's not going to be you cry and I take an iPad. I will break your fucking iPad. I'm that parent. I'm just saying, like, it's not going to be. So you'll spend $500 for an iPad break, and then break, break, break it yourself? Break money. Just to prove Listen, a point? Once, once I have health and strength, I always get back a dollar. That's how I look at it. So I'm not going to put put things that, oh, I, I might time. confiscate it, but I ain't Listen, gonna take it. I ain't going to take it. I am breaking it in front of your face. That's how you got to know mommy ain't fucking playing nah, my nigga. I shit I pay for. <laughs> but, this, but once again, that's, me, that's my belief. That's your I, belief. That's how I look at a dollar. Once I have health and strength, I'm going to get that shit back. And you fucking around, I'm going to break your shit. I don't care. And you want to get it back, earn getting it back. It's not you cry today and you go in your room and then I'll give it back to you a week later with a sad eye. No motherfucker, earn that shit back. Make me want to spend another $500 on you. Mm. I'm just saying. That type of, that type of no bullshit, period. I ain't got it like that. I ain't breaking no fucking $500 tab. <laughs> I don't care, man. I'll take that shit and sell it before I fucking break that shit. Sell it right in front of you. That's going to hurt your heart even more. Make you hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> give it to him, go ahead. Hey, now. you better give, give it to him. I um I think on a disciplinary the disciplinary tip um I don't want to hit my child but I will but as a man you got the intimidation factor already on all your children if you're around like I don't even have to touch my son or my daughter and they already know like when I make a face it's like stop playing let's go if I if it gets to the point I will give my child a spanking I'm more down for spankings I think sometimes you gotta let them know like. Got to put a little heat on their ass, tell them to get their shit in order, you know what I'm saying? I don't think, I ain't say fucking beat them till they fucking black and blue. Like them old school beatings used to have to go in the shower. My worst beating, I thought I beat with my Sega Genesis cord. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm like, damn, son, what the fuck, man? You don't love me no more? <laughs> but not, not no shit like that, but just, you know, a few hits on a belt, a couple of whelps, and it'd be all right. That should be going in the morning. Old school whippings used to put black and blue and fucking nice. can't go to school. For beat you with I didn't beat you with that was in, in in reaching distance and shit, man. Right now, like if I said some shit, my mother beat me with a fucking microphone just because <laughs> without reaching distance. But me as a parent, like I said, I'm I'm all, I'm all for like a spanking if it's necessary. But if you can intimidate and make them do what you got to do without touching, then I, I I'll go that route before I put my hands on them. It's the last, it's the last. You always want to be like me. I that's on you, Georgie. Why. You didn't even like, get the talk. You just always want to be like why. me. Yeah, that's the Aquarius thing, remember? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree. Like, I'll beat my kids ass, but only if necessary. I'm a threatener, and my it gets the job done, I swear to God. Like, I, I could just threaten my kid, and he gets it. And if he feels, he's 13 now, so if he feels like he want to be tough sometimes, then, you know, then I got to use excessive force but other than that i mean i'm i think that i don't have to do anything i've taken his he's really big on electronics and stuff and taking his shit away works wonders like he be destroyed when i say destroyed i mean destroyed so my bad i'm sorry <laughs> but that's it i don't have to like i said so I'm you more of a threatener but I'll threaten with the physical knows, force. Yes, he knows. Like I, I always give him a a choice, but the choice always goes back to me. Like I'd be like, we could do this the easy way, or we could do this the hard way. But either way, like if you want to eat, you know what I mean. If I cook something and you talking about you don't eat that or you don't wanna you don't wanna eat what I cook, so we could do this the easy way or the hard way. You can starve, or you can eat what I cook. It's up to you. So either way, it's a lose lose for you. So that's me. Black success. Yes, sir. Are you laying them baby hands on your kids? Yes, sir. <laughs> you gonna yeah, whip them? I'm whipping my kids' ass. Depend on what they do. 
You know, depending on what they do. I feel like some things deserve a conversation and some things deserve, yeah, you know, uh, physical intervention. You know, so it depends on what they do. And um, that's how I'm going to do it. That's how my mom did it. And it helped me understand, you know. And I know these days it's like everyone want to do the counseling thing and just talk, 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 talk. And working where we work, I can tell you, all that talking sometimes, it don't get through. Mm-hmm. Sometimes a couple, a little bit of pushing, a little bit of hold you up against the wall, it, it'll just help you understand a little bit more. So it depends on what they do and the, and, and the level of violation that it is. I feel like if you try to talk to your, your kids after they do something stupid, like try to steal a car or something, you're bugging the fuck out. There's no talking. He vile, he could have killed himself, someone else. You're bugging. I'm whipping your ass. But if it's something small and my and minute, like like a like a fucking slick comment, and that's something you could talk about. That's something we could sit down and be like, yo, you you know why that comment wasn't wasn't a good thing to do, right? And that's something you could talk out. So it it depends on what it is. Do you think that different cultures automatically have a different partake on beatings and not like not beating yeah like you know my my fiance think like beating is just out the question you know what i mean she just think like everything is talking and she got another thing coming i already told you <laughs> coming. It, depends, it depends on what what on fucking what young karate kid do because if he do the wrong shit with the wax on the wax off i'm gonna wax all the way on you understand so it depends you know i think i don't know like we always watch like Shows and comedy shows and Everybody know Got that white friend That just never got beat But they are so disrespectful mm-hmm. To like mother and but father see, Not even like this. Yeah just dis- disrespectful see how those white kids Talk to their parents though? That's what I'm talking about They talk to their mothers reti- You would think both is adults You wouldn't know If you If there was no visual You would think it's two adults talking I don't want to I don't want to eat this Get the fuck out of here <laughs> No, this weekend I want to. I want to fucking Down go to the motherfucking house. I told you, pizza, house. mom. What the yeah, fuck? You're so too, stupid. That's too <laughs> fucking crazy. That's too fucking crazy, son. We didn't have that option, son. We we didn't, bro. Growing up, that that wasn't even a thought because you knew, you knew mm-hmm. that was just the dumbest thing to do. That was a freaking punch. That was just the nigga. That was a funeral, nigga. Yeah. You wake up in a coma. Everybody looking at you like you stupid. The black talks his mom like that. He wake up my complexion. Slap the black on. Like, also, like, a lot of different cultures have different rules and different things that they do. So, like, maybe a punishment for somebody of, like, an Asian background may not be a direct beating, but Asians are people who are very family-oriented. And, like, they pay, like let's say their parents pay for everything in college and school, so maybe a punishment could be, I'm not going to pay for your college. And that could really hurt a kid more than actually touching them. So, it's all about how your house is set up and the rules you've set out and what is the expectation also. So, that plays a factor in punishment. A punishment. The kids, like, when we were younger, some of our parents beat us. It had no fucking effect on us. Because we can go do the same shit the next day. It's just part of the fucking process. And they got the kids who get beat and just psychologically damage your fucking life. So, it, it's, it, like, once again, you can't call it. I, mean. I, I don't know. I don't know. It depends, it depends on, it depends on how, much, how, much, how much influence is in your actual child's life. If your child have limited influences, if your child is really focused on just the parents and just school, then what you say really matter. What you say changes how they think, how they go, how they go about things okay. at the fucking end of the day. If you let them have different influences, if the dude downstairs is one of their influences, if three dudes in the building one of their influences, three bad uncles one of their influences, the school teacher that barely teaches that the parent teachers one of their fucking influences, then mm-hmm. you got yes. it's too much in. They don't know Facts. what to believe. Mm-hmm. Therefore, they start being in, independent. They start just going with whatever they think is right. Instead of what you're saying is fucking right. You understand? Yeah, your mouth no, open. No, we, we not, we're not <laughs> parents. We're trying to get this right. We're trying to learn from You're going to learn, man. I, I have nieces and fucking nephews. I, I, I am as close I, to so wait, I don't have my own, but so wait, listen. I, this is, I have stepkids, too. So this is a, um, I've had stepkids, too. So. This is a question I wanted to ask because I thought this was like real interesting. and It, it, it definitely like is a real-life topic. Like... I remember we was talking about I we just talking about different cultures and or whatever and parenting and everything. Mm-hmm. You look in the African American culture, right? Mm-hmm. A kid gets a job in the household. <laughs> parent wants ends on the check, want money, you know what I'm saying? Off rip. Like, yo, you gotta pay the rent. They don't give a chance to really save their money, do whatever. 
in other cultures sometimes, they get a job, they give you a chance to save their money, buy a car, do stop. whatever they want to do. I want you to stop right Wait, now. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is a question. I, this is something I've seen. This is something I've seen, mm-hmm, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you feel that in African-American cult, like culture, do we hurt or help by parenting taking money from their kids? Neither. Neither, dog. Okay. If, you watch the Greg, if you watch the Greg Popovich um, um, interview, and if, for those of you that don't, that don't know, he's a coach the head coach for the uh, San Antonio Spurs in the NBA. He said, white people basically start at the 50-yard line. Okay. And to act like we don't start at the 50-yard line is us being ignorant to the other issues going on. Okay. Basically saying black people are starting from the zero. Okay. We got to run the whole 100 yards. They got the 50. They only got 50 yards to go, bro. bro. And they're good. So hold on. Go. Understand what I'm what I'm saying. Yeah. So if they're, if they're not taking money from their kids... That's okay. Most of the time, they don't fucking need it. If your mom came up from struggle, your mom is in the peas, your mom working two to three jobs to make ends meet, she need that little hundred dollars. It might be a lot to fucking you because you want to buy an extra pair of Tims and some, some fly shit to make it look like you don't fucking live in the peas anymore, but she need that fucking bread. And for you to be ignorant enough to fucking think she's trying to cripple you by asking for the bread, nigga, she trying not to suck dick. Nigga, she trying to say, listen, you got a job. Let me, let me fucking get a hundred dollars. Let me get two hundred dollars because I'm trying to put it towards the bills. She not, she not taking the money and going out. She not going on vacation. She putting it towards the fucking house. Only an ignorant nigga will fucking think like that. Like that, boy. That's fucking crazy. Thanks. Fuck are you talking about? Give that, her that bread. That that was your home run, my sir. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel like uh, you're a parent? When your son starts working, some of you I are you going to you going to take some of his ends? I won't ask him for anything. At does the it end of the day, because because his does it, wait, ends are his ends? But I will teach him how to. Definitely. Does like, it like prepare you for the future? I, I ain't gonna lie. It, it does kind of prepare you for like knowing that you're gonna be an adult. You gotta pay rent. You have to do things. You have to pay a fucking bill. You can't just live somewhere for free. Mm-hmm. But it also, just, like you said, it's, it's kind of like, damn, man, I just fucking got this job. I can't even save money. I can't mm-hmm. do nothing because, you know, mm-hmm. they're trying to come dig in my pocket. Anything. So because you wanna ask the child to teach responsibility? Is my responsibility? Yes, I would. I would like try my best to teach him how to manage what he has and what to do with it and prepare him like I tell him all the time when you turn 18 like you done I mean I, I'm not holding your hand I'll be there to assist you if you need help but I'm not always going to be here so I try to teach I've been trying to teach him since he was small how to be responsible and how to do certain things because mommy and daddy's not going to always be here grandma's not going to always be here and he might not get it now which I totally understand you're not going to get it but there are going to come times in his life where he's going to go through some things and he's going to think that's what my mother was talking about that's like that's preparing him I don't think I I, I, I don't think that I should be asking my child for money that's just my and personal wait. opinion I'm, I'm, can I just say one I'm thing? I'm not saying you're wait. wrong. I'm not saying no, no, right. I, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying any wrong or right. But what I what I am saying is this: one of the best things my mother did for me was got me uh, was 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 have me when I started working chipping, and I'm only saying that because of this. When I got to the age where I shouldn't have been under her household anymore, I was afraid of going out there and having to do everything on my own. So now, when you're chipping in, it, it's 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 kind of programming you like yo. Every check you 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 already know this guy go to that, this guy go to that, this guy go to that. You are you are uh, elementary wise, you know, preparing yourself for adulthood, Pre- knowing that I, I can't spend this on this, I can't go do that, Can and, I- and 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 that's that's only fucking helping. A lot of grown men still live at home. A lot of grown men is still you know, whatever, 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 because they're afraid of going out there. They don't know what it is to be independent, to pay all them bills. They don't know what it is to prepare those checks and line those checks up to pay all those fucking bills. And the problem is because when they are in the house, when they are working, when they are making adult salaries or freaking even less, no one is saying, hey, listen, this got to go to that. This got to go to that. This got to go to that. You got to mentally prepare them to be on their own. I feel on this subject of a topic at hand, it depends how old they are. Like you said, if you surpass the age where you could possibly be on your own and living on your own, then you have to help being in a house where you're going to eat, sleep, breathe, whatever. But if, as a teen, I'm not going to take money from my kid if he's working hard, like his little Starbucks foot locker job. I'm not going to ask him for any money. He out there working. He's staying out of trouble. He's doing his thing. He shouldn't have to give me no money towards the house. This is just how I feel. 
Now, like I said, as a teen, now he's 24, 25 years old, still in my house, and he's still working somewhere else. Then, like, listen, bro, you're a grown man now. You could be out on your own. You could start helping out. You know what I'm saying? You in here trying to get pussy under my roof, all that shit. I ain't saying nothing. Throw some bread. I don't care. Teenagers, young, some of you, nah, just all you. You out here working and grinding. You want to buy them pair of sneakers? Go get it. I'm not taking no money from you. I'm not trying to collect nothing from you. I know it, it kind of teaches you responsibility, but it also, like, if you working out there, getting it, go get it on your own, because now I don't have to pay for it. You're still a teen. You're still under my... Like parenting, I still have to supply. But now, if you working for your own, I don't have to get it for you. Like you ain't gotta ask me for money if you working, and you wanna buy yourself some Jordan. Because if I take money from you, then you still asking me for money. Now it's dumb. That's facts. But that's just how I feel. Also, one thing that my mom did when when she was collecting that that bread, every two hundred dollars, every check, she'll put to the side. You understand? So when it was time for me to move out. I had I had six thousand dollars. I had first last month second. I had first last month security and it had money to go get go get the furniture and i i feel like hey you don't got to take it for your own personal use but hey take it to put some to the side because people don't know how to people don't know how to save but especially kids i when i'm wait I'm wait, old, wait wait george i'm sorry let tanya go tanya been quiet i'm mm-hmm. sorry she's passionate i was i was raised uh i was raised by my dad and my dad had a certain parenting style when it came to financial responsibility um my father and my father did this when I was eight. Uh, he would for Christmas he would he would never really buy gifts for me. He would put money in my hands, and we would go down. If you guys need to know where Regent Street is, uh, Christmas time we go down Regent Street. We would pass all the stores, and we we would walk in every store. He's like, just just don't. He's like, don't buy yet. Just go in and see what you like. We went the entire strip, and. Of course, you went into one store, you like something, you come back out and you see something you like a little bit more, and you come back and you see something you like a bit more. And we spent one day just window shopping. He's like, now you window shop, and you see what you like, you don't like. Now we can go back the next day, now you're going to buy, based on how much money you got and what you see. What that shit taught me was self-discipline when it comes to money. He started that shit when I was fucking eight. Uh, what's missing from a lot of black households to me is just financial literacy and financial management. Okay. We wait till kids get to a certain age. You're an adult, here's a check. We never really position it as in, okay, you're an adult. You're not fully out of the house yet, but you got to understand that certain responsibilities, the real responsibilities in here. The mortgage is real. The rent is real. Food is real. The bills are real. I mean, you enjoy watching TV every day, but you don't know how much money it takes. It takes money to keep that fucking TV on. It takes money to keep the lights on. I mean, I find it rare that adults position taking money from kids as what that's what they're putting it towards. Because if you don't pay the fucking bill, the lights will get cut off. The cable can cut off. We can get fucking evicted if mm-hmm. these bills don't get paid. So I think the element that's missing is just the res- the financial responsibility that has accompanied it. Some kids know. Some kids don't know. Some kids think of it as mommy just want to take money from my check, whereas some kids know yo mommy busting her fucking ass. Like I'm gonna give her three hundred because I don't want my mother to work too hard. My mother comes in at nine at night, comes in ten at night in ten degree weather. Like anything I could do to help, I'm gonna help. So for me, what I'll do, I'm kind of in the gray area about it. I wouldn't demand like uh, a high amount, especially because if you work in a Starbucks and they make a certain amount of money a week, I'm not gonna expect them to take their whole Starbucks fucking check benefits. or almost their whole check and give it to me. Yeah. But they have to. They're gonna be responsible for something that has a time on it, whether it's their phone bill or part of the phone bill, part of the rent, and it has to come in a certain time. But they need to understand that you're not paying. It affects all of us, and that's gonna teach them a sound response, a certain response sense of financial responsibility that's how i look at it and one of the funniest things is when i came to america and i got my job and you know i started working i was making just about as much money as my mom at the time um i was told you know don't spend no the first month was don't spend no money just get money from your coach <coughs> whatever by the third month my sister came and she was like oh makisha living here for free why is she living here and all of us paying bills and whatever whatever my mom was like no she's saving money like no all of a sudden i you gotta pay xyz money to the rent i started paying money to the rent mm-hmm. going 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 all of a sudden one day there was a big blow in my house over money of course we got black families a lot of us a lot of adults people trying to see who making more money than who element comes in my mother told me you could never survive out of this house by yourself she told you that she literally told me that Damn. The day I moved out, I've moved out of my mother's house almost four and a half to five years now. I've never went back. 
My mother's one day said she's like, I never thought she would have done it. She like, slapped I'm, her I'm ass. the baby. I'm the baby. My <laughs> other siblings, every single one of them, the rest of them are still living with my mom. I'm the only one who's out of the house. And she was like, I never thought she would have survived. But the thing is, funny thing is, my dad on the other side, he was like, Makisha, once you're 18, start thinking of setting yourself out to leave my house. He wasn't putting me out. He was saying, get yourself in the mental to understand that you're an adult now. You got all the responsibility is going to be yours. The rent, the gas, the light, all of that shit is you. Put yourself in the work ethic, the frame of mind to take care of that shit yourself. Don't even depend. He didn't say don't depend on a man. He's like, but don't think a man is going to be a savior for that. He's like, set yourself up. You can take care of yourself. And I remember that shit. My mom <laughs> told me about that $300. And I moved out and I fucking been back. I paid out and I worked my ass. Nico said, I'm now hearing this story. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah, he's, he's on his shit today, son. <laughs> today Cookie he got time. Done, son. <laughs> he got time today. But I'm saying, like, but that's, once again, two different parenting styles. One demanded, and the other one was like, give me a little bit of freedom. So, the per- funny enough, the person who gave me a little bit of freedom is a person who gave me a better work ethic. Mm, so, it's okay. like, but he gave me the freedom with the advice and the knowledge behind why he's giving me the freedom. So, now I was... I have to grow into it. Of course, somebody telling me, bitch, you can't survive without me. You understand? So, yeah. as a black family, like, y'all teach y'all kids financial responsibility. They're never going to forget it. That's a fact. Danny, before we leave this, you got something else to say? I forgot. It's okay, good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you playing with you, Danny? You see how crushes go? You see how crushes go? When motherfuckers like you, like a lot, because he always texts me, yo, what do Danny doing? Don't worry about what Danny doing, my dude. <laughs> Don't worry about that. She from she from motherfucking Red Hook. Don't worry about that, my dude. Thank you, thank you. You know what I mean? Coming. But he be on your body, and a lot of the, a lot of the viewers don't know that. Black he be on your black. body. Black. That that tell him, tell him he on your body. Tell him. Black guys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, payback from last week. Oh wow. That's exactly what's happening. It's payback from last week. We are gonna talk about step parents now, yo. How y'all feel about step parents, man? I'm still with What him. happened? What you mean? Black. I love my Yeah, what's up? Ball. What you talking about? What's up? What's up? What's up? What? What's up? Yeah, what's up? What's how up? you feel about it? What you mean? Talk to me. Ask how you say, what's I don't up? know. How you what feel you about step parents? Are they, are, are they good? Are, are they good or bad? How you feel about them, man? What you mean? Step parents are great. What you mean? Ask me something. What you mean? I don't mean? know. How do you feel about them? I mean, what you Could you mean? be a step daddy? Like, yeah, how, of course I'd be a step daddy. Is it a good thing? As long as it, as long as it, listen, I could be a step daddy. I can't be a limited daddy. Stay on topic. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. What's a limited? Ooh. I can't. I can't be a limited dad. Therefore, let me. Let me. Like trying to get the quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> let me further. Let me further explain that. What's a limited you daddy? You know, a lot of times, what I'm saying is this: a lot of times, when it comes to being a step daddy or dealing with someone that has kids, they won't say nothing when you buying everybody Jordans. You want to look like a family. <laughs> everybody got matching pair of Jordans. They won't say that when you when you book a trip to Sky Zone. They y'all renting a car, y'all driving to Sky Zone. Hey, I want duck basketball. You know what I mean? Y'all won't say that when y'all all getting the same burger. Y'all want to take a, a picture. Yeah, all family got the same hunger. We all hungry. Y'all all taking the same picture with the French fries on the bottom. Okay. Shit. You know what I mean? They won't say nothing, but they will say something when you about the upside. When they went, all right, all right, all right. But I'm just saying, don't don't let me be a limited dad. Well, you know wait. I mean? On a limited daddy, what if the father is still in? The child's life. If the father's child is still in the child's life, that's a that's a touchy so you got to be limited. If that's, if that's lives, the case, though. if that's the case, that's a touchy thing now because now you you're saying like you want a man, but how you want a man not to be a daddy? You got kids. She want a man square for him to for him to love you. He love your kids. It, it, it don't go the other way around. Mm-hmm. You understand? He can't love you and not your Baby, kids. Baby, you can speak. We just started this. Go ahead, What's talk, up? Georgie. What's up? I love my stepmom. My stepmom has never put her hands on me. And she never had to because my father was there to make sure that we were disciplined. And he did what he had to do to make sure that, that didn't, we never disrespected her or ever had to do anything in that way. So um, I hear what you're saying, but I feel like when the parent is involved, there should be no need for you to even go that, that, that route. What? Time out. So, so time, time out. Is is the parent doing everything? So, what do you mean? Is the parent doing is the everything? parent doing everything for those kids but living with you? 
Is the parent filling up? I, I, I would say no, because if the parent is there, then they wouldn't be doing every single thing. Because no, no, the, listen, listen, the listen so what the question was, is. No, ahead. listen what the question is. Sometimes we listen to, re, to reply and okay, not to I'm, understand. Okay, 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 okay cool. Okay, okay, so okay. what I'm saying is the parent doing everything for those kids besides living under your same roof. No. 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 So therefore, there is a void. There is something to be filled there. Are you trying to fill it with the new guy? No, but if there's a, if the, are you, you trying to fill it with no. the new guy? Don't dance around the question. No, because I'm trying to understand where you're going. Let's go. Hold on, don't do that. Don't do that. Hold on, hold on, don't I'm do that. I'm trying to understand what where you're going with this. What, I, what I'm saying is this: if you're saying that the parent is in the picture, then what you're saying is that the new guy is only needed to please you and not to please the situation. He will please the situation. If you love me, you love my kids. That's how. All right. If he love your kids, he also gonna discipline. He gonna do. He gonna do everything that come with it. If I'm if I'm somebody's step parent and their parent is at and they're like if I'm if I'm with a guy and he has kids and his kids their mom is active, I don't have to do anything to those kids because number one I'm gonna well, come to him I'm gonna come to him and tell him to handle the situation unless they're being blatantly disrespectful. That's it. That's like I'm gonna come to I don't think that's false because that's how I'm gonna handle it. If I'm going to some if I'm with somebody and I'm dealing with somebody and they have kids, if their kids are doing something they don't have no business doing, I feel the need to discipline them, like put my hands on them or something like that. I'm going to him. I don't to me as a step parent, I don't have a right to put my hands on them, especially when their mother is right here and their father is right here. Uh oh. All right. But lie. go ahead. Go, go, ahead, lie. go Tanya. <laughs> I am a fan it of It was too step- close, like It was too close to each other. I'm a fan of step parents, especially if um uh, a man and a woman are separate because I fond- I strongly believe in a two parent household. I strongly I fond- I fondly I strongly believe in a and a man and a woman raising somebody. My father went out of his way to make sure he stayed in my stepmother for fifteen years because he was raising a girl and he thought it's important to in- in put family into the situation. I had a mother and a father all the time. There was somebody always at a PTA meeting, always at a dance recital, always at acting recital. I got three screamers a day, every day. I know family to the point when I talk about my child, my friends is like, damn, you had a good fucking childhood. And once again, we wasn't rich, but I saw that every day. And I think I'm a fan of step parents because kids do need all sorts of love. A lot of people boil, like make it financial or make it, make it a business transaction. You got clothes, food, shelter, whatever, whatever, whatever. Other th- and, I'm providing everything, but I'm not living with you. Kids still need to see certain things coming up. They still need somebody to talk, or somebody to put them to bed, somebody to read them a story, somebody to tell them how the fucking day was, somebody who they got to issue in school and they come home and it's like, I know daddy or mommy or step daddy going to take care of it. Kids also need that. And I think step parents feel like, like I think Jay was leading to, that void that's there. It's not necessarily just money and a check and whatever. There's a void that also fills on a lot of people ignore that void and it's focused on what's being provided as that being enough that's part of what a kid needs they got some kids who grew up poor as fuck and they had certain things because they had their parent or because they had their step parent in their life they were like yo I, I i look back and i have no regrets i had a good life i'm a good sound adult because i had somebody who was always there for me and step parents are the stepping stone to filling that void that kids can't have I am a stepmother. My stepmother's on my Facebook page. I love love the woman to death. I love you, mommy. Yeah, I call her mommy. And she loved me the way my mother loves me. I tell people all the time when I was a kid, I had two mothers. I still got two mothers till this fucking day. I love both of them to to with everything inside of me. You know, my stepmother raised me and disciplined me and treated me as if I was her fucking blood. There was never no, I'm a step back because out of respect, she understood that anything she did slacking would affect me as an adult as well. It was never about boundaries or whatever. I'm not saying, I know there are a lot of people are opposed to step parents because there are evil step parents out there who would just take out ki- shit on kids for no reasons. Mm-hmm. But there are also a lot of good fucking step parents out there who love your kids and like And there's they a lot there. of biological parents taking and out there are shit a lot on of kids. Biological parents fucking their taking kids out shit also. on so kids. There's, there's no way to call it. Like it's, it boils down to what the person Fuck. has, the person has intentions for your child. It's a blessing to have a step parent who's ready to fill in and stand there when your parent is missing. You, 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 you can still have a good, full functioning parent, but if I'm not, I wasn't sleeping in the house every night with my mom, but I had a full mother figure in my house, and I see a mother figure in my house, and I attached that mother figure in my house. It doesn't mean I love my mom any less. It had nothing to do with, with ego, but 
I am I was of sound ma- mind and I appreciated the idea of family. So step parents provide that, and I'm all all for step parents. I would never let's say God God forbid. I get kids and I grow up and me and my whoever split and he's providing whatever, but I'm coming home to just me in an empty house. Like, I want my kids to have certain experiences, especially that I had when a kid. I had a full father in my life and I I have certain things that, certain traits of myself that came because I had a father in my life. And I, I, I don't want to short my kids that because of boundaries I put in my head for no reason. So that's how I feel. I'm, I'm team step parent. I'm team step parent too. I love my stepmother. La. La. If um, your mother and father are still in your life, you think it's okay for the step parent to call? I mean, for the kid to call step parent, mommy or daddy? Um, I'm 28 years old. I still call my stepmom mommy. I've been calling her stepmom. I've been calling her mommy since I was two. Factor in the fact she had me since I was two. So I was more or less, I started calling her mommy because I was repeating Does your mother feel a kind of way about that? She, even if, no, she doesn't. She my doesn't? My mother told me, this is, my, this is from my mother's mouth. And my mother told me this when I was 21. My mother said, and mind you, factor in this. My stepmom is the woman my dad left my mom for so think about all the negatives you could have to this woman just being a a a a a, 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 a just a scorned black woman. Mm-hmm. Another one. My stepmom <clears throat> said there was put aside the differences she had with my dad. I said my mom, mom, sorry. Put aside the differences she had with my dad. There is no way on earth she could have hated my stepmom because my stepmom chose to love me like I was her blood. And there's no way she can find herself to hate somebody who's taking care of your child like if they are their own. In terms of taking care of them, feeding them, disciplining them, making sure everything with them is okay. She's like, my mother said, well, I would just be <coughs> such a way where it would just be so selfish for me to still try to hate somebody who's doing good by your child, who's doing right by your child. She's like, I didn't see, even my stepmother was, my stepmother, my stepmother used to discipline me. My stepmother used to hit me. My mother's not saying, don't touch my kid, kiss my kid. She's like, did she deserve it? Yeah. Yeah. Hit that bitch. Mm. That's how my mother was because her thing was, my mother wanted the best for me. And even though I wasn't living with her, but I was living with somebody she trusted to make sure every single fucking thing was going right for me. I turned out to be a fairly good adult because I had a good stepmother. In my life, my mother never made it about her. Never made it about the situation. Never made it about the heartbreak. Never made it about the scorn. Her thing was making it about my well-being and my me coming to whatever. So she never looked at it as it was personal. She looked at it as a, whatever you're doing, do the best and the right by Makisha. You doing that, you got no limits because I trust you. I'm going to tumble the bitch down the stairs and kill her, I'm good. So... My mother, okay. yo, shout out to Pilot son. Shout out to Pilot. Pilot, <laughs> Pilot, <laughs> Pilot, 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 Shout out to Pilot. <laughs> Go. Um, would you call your, um, <laughs> would you call your step parent, mommy or daddy, when you got your, um, like your mother and father active in, in here? Um, no. Um, I mean, it's all a choice, though. I say no, but it's a choice. It's, it's the kid's choice if the kid wants to call. If they choose to call a mom or dad, I mean, I can't really say much about that. So, how you feel? You all right? You good? Brown holy water in your system? You look like a lot of brown holy water is in now your I'm system. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm sober than a motherfucker. Like, um, you know, if I had a step parent, you know, then that's what it was. Like, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing to talk about. You know what I mean? If you got a step parent, that's what it is. I feel like step parents don't get enough credit. I feel like step parents get step parents get discredited more facts. often than they get credit because a lot of times people want to hold off and say, "Hold up, you're not the mother, you're not the daddy." Like. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, listen, if I'm doing all the duties, if I'm doing everything else and you not checking me on it, 
Especially when I'm spending my fucking money. Stop me then. Stop me then. Say, hold up. You're not oh, the no, daddy. You're not the daddy. Don't Stop do it. Stop me right then and then and I say, you. you're not the daddy. My son don't need a new Jordans. I agree. My son don't need a basketball. My son don't need to go meet LeBron. He don't need to go to the NBA game. He don't need to go to the Knicks. Oh, you doing all of that? Yeah, you I, doing I mean, all I mean, that? Trick, trick daddy in the building. <laughs> I'm trick daddy. But I'm saying, like, don't let him trick all the way and then let him think. Because when you, when, when you got him trick it, when you got him tricking, he's invested. He not think he's a... You might not think so, but he think he's the father figure. I know. You're you know what I mean? specific when you think, think about these situations. He think he's the father figure. So 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 now when he do the next thing, you might want to check him. And now when you check him, he think you bugging. But he only think you bugging because, bitch, you ain't stopped the first thing. If you're going to stop number three, stop number one, too. Don't, don't, don't. Don't wait till I get the first, second base to stop to, to stop the third. And I think that's where a lot of people get it, get it, get it fucked up. They don't mind a step parent as long as you're doing all the positive things. I don't. As soon as you do one thing negative, now it's like, hold up, he got a real mommy, real daddy. Ain't that the same motherfucker that left you? But <laughs> you can left him, but don't mean he left the kid though. If the kid is still active, if, if the a lot the father, of times the motherfuckers not a lot active. of times we talking about the times where the dude is still active in his life, but you still around, but you you taking care of everything. And the father is still around, and say for the mother, father, and sister, and you in that position, he's still around doing his thing. But you in the household, you doing a good thing. Would you want that child to call you dad, even if his dad is still around? But look, if he, if the father's still around doing his thing, then all the dude should be doing is dating the mom. Facts. If the dude is doing anything Ooh. more than dating the mom, Ooh. if the dude is doing anything, anything more, more than dating the mom, then dog. You 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 out of violation. It is a lot of confusion there. Cause you got me doing more than what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be tearing this pussy up, making you happy, cause your baby daddy laughed. But that's if it. that's the case, then you should well, that's another story. Cause you shouldn't even be around the kids if y'all just dating. That's, but how? That's that's right. how? How? I might I might be fucking you for two years. Bitch, I'm coming over. What you mean? <laughs> Red Hook, I'm here. What you mean? What <laughs> that's like, I think that like, kinda was what black is saying. Like people see you so a lot in the step step daddy type. They want all the benefits of it, but then when it's time for us to be a full parent. People start putting up the rules and restrictions. The rule for me, the restriction is don't be don't be abusing the fuck of my kids. And abuse can come from blood that. parents too. We, we people always say step parents, step parents, step parents. They're fathers who rape their fucking daughters. It's a sad okay. truth. They're, 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 they're parents who abuse the fuck out of their kids and step parents who rescue kids. So it's kind of like if you're a step parent, I, I, for me personally, as a step parent, if you're gonna be a step parent, you should be a parent. A full parent, everything that comes with it. And you treat that child the way the child deserves to be treated and everything you do for them should be for their best benefit. Don't put rules and restrictions on it because if you put rules and restrictions on the step parent, you might as well put rules and restrictions on the actual parent. Blood, to me, honestly, we all talk about blood is sticking down water, but y'all still pray some of y'all friends more than y'all family. Same thing goes with parenting. Same thing goes with fucking parenting. You, you just give them motherfuckers some blood, but that don't mean they're guaranteed to treat them better. So... You know, there should be no, there should be no limits in terms of how a step parent should love a child, but the limits should be the same rules to mommy and daddy and step mommy and step daddy. Yeah. That's how I feel. The feel should be even across the board. One thousand. One thousand. Anything else is just fucking ego. Yes. Yeah, Anything else is ego. That's, and that's what, what a lot of it is. Ego. Anything else is ego. Ego. I take care of the bills. I'm daddy. Well, honestly, he's playing a full daddy role also. So if the my thing is, I'm not saying you should go around demanding the kid call you dad. But if the kid calls you dad, honestly, that's a that's a sign of endearment. That's yeah, your that's child. That's that's your different. child seeing something in you that's like yo, you really love me the way you love me. So I appreciate you. I feel like this, you know. And the child is doing it out of innocence also. So you gotta factor that in. No one should tell kids to do whatever, but. If the child does it, you got to understand that's a good sign. Your child actually feels that's that type of love from somebody. That's you know, so you shouldn't, you shouldn't fight it. That's how I should feel. But a, a lot of people will disagree because they have the whole ego thing going on. But that's, that's how I look at it. We're about to get All to right. the call-up question, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get to the call-up question. I'm going to let it go to La, La Brown, the one that got curved by Danny. He's going to let y'all know what the call-up question is. La, talk to us. Although you got curved, talk to us. <laughs> Yo, the call-up question, should a step-parent be allowed to spank his or her stepchild. That is the question at hand. Like you said, like what Black was saying earlier, if you could do everything else, why can't you discipline your child? Now, you should talk about, do you think you should be allowed to spank your, discipline, <laughs> physically spank your stepchild? My guy, that's a question. Yeah. 
Yeah, what kind of question I think is so, that? I feel, yeah, like, I feel like that's stupid. If, Go. I, if I'm allowed to spend money Call on up, them, y'all. Call up. If I'm allowed to spend money on them, give them the fucking phone number. 516-900-2278. Call up. Should a step... So the step parent be allowed to discipline physically spanking your child. Yeah, I feel like I feel like or their stepchild, whatever. I feel like if you're if you're dating some someone, you trust their judgment to some extent. Facts. If you trust their judgment, then you know they're not gonna discipline your child for no fucking reason. They're not gonna discipline Facts. just because they can beat the motherfucking child. They're gonna discipline because the child did something wrong. Facts. And at the end of the day, if you was okay with this person spending money on your child. Going to open school night with your child. Busting the going, Euro. Going to the park with just your child. You you still at home. He taking your child to the park. If you was okay with everything else, then why are you not okay with this person disciplining your child? That is mentally retarded. There's something wrong with you. So black is all in for step parents hitting the children. One thousand percent. Spanking. Spanking. One thousand percent. I'm one thousand percent all a spanking in. Is a hit. Right, I'm gotta... beating your child ass, especially if I'm buying <laughs> Jordan to go to open school night. I'm whipping your Smacking child. These Yes. We got our first caller for the night. Brown Holy Water, who's on the line? Uh, this is your favorite minister, Rock Montel. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Let's go. Wait, Finally, all, you loser. First of all, listen, I have the favorite title. Let's be clear. First like, of all, loser. Danny, you looking kind of like a joint. <laughs> this is the pastor wow. talking. Thank you. Thank all right, you. pastor, should a step parent be allowed to spank his or her child? Step child. Absolutely yes. Oh, yes. real quick, 60, 60 seconds or less. Let's go. Let me hear your answer. Wow. 60 seconds or less. Let's go. Because, like Black says, if I'm doing the work, I'm beating that behind. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I, okay, the lim, then the limit, then I'm buying you nothing but Converse and butter bagels. <laughs> That's a fact. Talk to him, Pastor. Talk to him. You got two minutes now. You got two minutes. <laughs> Twenty five dollars, you're getting a beat. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it has to go down. It has to go down. It has to go down. The Bible says the spirit of rod is for the child. Facts. Uh oh. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it does it, does it depend what time you got? I mean, what like what time and stage you got into that child's life? Like if you came in that child's life at he's twelve years old and you're trying to fucking discipline him, he gonna look at you like you crazy. Am I correct? Uh, and she, I think it depends child? on the time you came but into the child's life. God, he's not looking at nothing. What huh? you said? I said with two black eyes, you're not looking at <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get the fuck up. Why you had too much Jesus yeah, juice, man? Yeah, 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 I hang up on him right now. Nah, he doing too <laughs> much, man. It passes me. Don't hang up on nobody. Yeah, don't hang up on nobody. The pastor's talking that shit. At the end of the day, some of y'all kids need two, two black eyes. It might save them out of jail. It might save them out of jail. That's a fact, though. You understand? These black eyes sometimes is fucking needed. Because they got to understand that ass whooping hurt. They got to understand punches hurt. Yo, Rockman, you thank you for calling up, bro. We appreciate you, man. Thanks for calling in. Black you. success. Fuck second, with you, boy. second favorite fan to Mike. Black success. Fuck with you, you <laughs> That's a fact. But yeah, your kids got to know that black eyes hurt. Punches like I hurt. said, hold on. I think it depends what time you became a step parent in that child's life. If you a man that came around and I'm 12, call 13 up, years old... Up. You're not going to try to discipline. You're not putting your hands on me, dude. I don't care how much a man you think you are. I agree. And but, I'm fucking up. Lie, you're not you, touching you, me, yo. You using discipline like discipline so you I'm talking about spanking. I said oh, spanking. So think, we talking nigga. about spanking. No, no, no. So you think. Nah, 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 nah. You think you 12 and 13. You think you lie. You yeah. think you lie because you in high school. But you ain't going to never do that. I'm going to slap the shit out of you in front of your mother. You're going to be mad. You can't do that. boy status. You're going to be mad. If you raised a kid like that's yours from like from like five and up, Jody? maybe. But if you beat him, <laughs> like, 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 like Jody? you gonna put him in a chokehold, you gonna yoke him out? Lick a nigga neck? <laughs> because a lot of problem, the problem nah. with most of these young kids right now, they think they adults. Break them back down. Let me break you back down, little boy. A 12 year old shoot the shit out of you, nigga. Let me break you, boy. But my thing is, if I'm 13, you my, you're my step parent. If I'm 13 or whatever, and you talking to me all crazy, I'm going it's not even that I feel grown, it's just that you're not gonna, you're not my parent. Like, Facts. you're not my mother. I know but that you're, you're not daddy my daddy can't either. So, your daddy but, but, my, but then that... Your daddy left. Okay, so whose fault is that that, that kid is All being right. disrespectful? Your, your daddy left. I'm here now. I'm the one caring about you. I'm the one loving you. I'm the one caring enough to not on. have you not go to jail. Call up, y'all. 516-900-2278. We taking two more calls, y'all. Call up. caught up in the fucking streets. I'm the one. Facts. I'm two the one, Two more callers, nigga. y'all. Call up. What are you talking That's about? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're going to care. You're going to care. Hug me, nigga. Hug me, nigga. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Because I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Brooklyn, Coney Island, Young Sushi, what it is, nigga? We out here quick. That nigga cut you with a samurai sword, nigga. The fuck that is. That's what I'm saying. You gotta understand. You gotta understand. A lot of people. A lot of people don't look at look at spanking as I'm just trying to hurt you for my personal pleasure. Don't touch me, though. But listen, people. You you can't remember a lot of people. A lot of kids are looked at it and it was personal like you hitting me because you you mad at daddy so you hitting me because of whatever that's not true we need to fucking under- let these kids understand that certain things are the streets are real out there the world is fucking that's real that's out a fact. the world will have no fucking mercy on facts. you motherfucker for none Just, I, for I would you hit talk to you me. and stop because I love you and I don't want your heart no more the facts. world not gonna fucking do that to you that's the world will not do that it will, put you the, it will put you to fucking ground that's what my I will have to bury you I will have to bury you. We so, got another so, call. So don't look at it like, oh, I'm hitting you because I'm hitting it for fun. Like, no. I care no about you enough that. that it hurts me to the point I actually have to put my fucking hands on you. But I got I to gotta warn you of what's out there. You know what I mean? Same. We got another call. Let's go. Another call. Brown Holy Water, who on the line? Man, it's your boy, Shoe, man. You know oh, yeah. Shoe. Shoe. Yeah, yeah, fuck out of here, Rockman. Hey, what hey, it is, hey, what hey, it hey, do. Tell Danny I said, hey. Hey. Yeah, how you feel, Shoe, man? Uh, step parents, should they be able to discipline their kids? Yeah, like, for you know, I got a thousand kids, man. And, uh, <laughs> listen, man, I, I ain't, I, nah, bro. That, nah. That, no man gonna what touch you. Mean, what you mean, no? Nah, what you mean, no? Nah, what you mean, I'm, no, I'm, though, shoot? I'm having, I'm having I, I understand, like, the, the, the power trip and the authority figure, and I understand that he has, he has to do certain things because he's in the house and he has to keep control of his house. But I don't, you, I don't want you touching my. I can't trust. It don't matter what you want. It don't matter what you want. Shoot, time out, time out, y'all. Yeah. It don't matter what you want. Shoot, shoot. It don't matter what you want. If those kids are staying with why, your baby mama, if those kids are staying with your, with your baby mama, and you're not there, and he's there, thought, it's not about you. I, don't be selfish. Thought, it's not I, about I, you. It's about nah. them kids. Nah. But, Hold on. Let, let the call talk. Don't talk. Don't touch my kids. Go. You just said. You just said 10 minutes ago, as long as I was providing everything else, he didn't have to, he didn't have to, right? Facts. That's what you said. Facts. Facts. If Facts. I'm handling everything else. If I'm handling everything else, as far as the kids are concerned, he don't have to put his hand. Well, let me tell you what something. Happens? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let, let, let me tell you what you missed, though. When you're not in the house... When you're not under the roof, this is where a lot of baby daddies get fucked up. This is where a lot of y'all fucked up and lose your baby mama at. When you're not under the roof, you don't get to see what your kids are doing. You get to hear about it. You don't get to see it. So you don't get to see what they do need to slap behind the head. You don't get to see it. So I'm going to slap the shit out of your son because he need it, nigga. And you wasn't there to see I it. it. I don't got to explain it to you. So he, 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 okay. Ain't nobody touching my kid, bro. So Fuck you that. Bugging up. I slap Keaton and Kelly, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the <laughs> I'm telling dude, I'm telling dude, hey, w- welcome to the family, my guy. Welcome. These are all subtles up in here. We <laughs> services. Do your thing, but I'm going to tell you. If I ever hear that, I'm going to, I'm coming to see you. That's it. That's it. You can come to see me. You can come to see me. You're going to have a hard time. You're going to have a hard time, just like them kids. You talk about in the upper room, nigga. Two black eyes. Just like them kids. You and your son going to be looking like twins. Daddy, how you get them black eyes? Yo, Mike, thanks for calling, Mike. Thank you for calling, Mike. Mike. Thank Thank you. Calling, Mike. All right, bro. How you get them black eyes, Daddy? The same the same. Yo, we taking one eye. more call, yo. We taking one more call, then we out of here. All yo, right, yo, one more call. Funny enough, where I'm from, I remember, like, when we was in school, in primary school and secondary school, we still had, we had corporal punishment. You know, we got lashes in our hand. We got beat from our, our teachers in school who were not, not even fucking step parents. Our parents used to be like, um, did she do something wrong? Yeah, beat her ass. But and when she come home, I'm give her no, a second fucking round of that. That's but that's don't that's touch old, my fucking school. kids. I don't care where don't you live. Touch don't my touch my kids, man. My kids. That's the case. Be single. Be single. Stay single. single. Stay single. Don't date, motherfucker. Hey, yo, let's go. Don't Last caller. Last caller for the night. Let's go. Brand holy water. Who on the line? I'm whipping your ass. It's Ken from Turk. Who? Who? Ken from Turk. Ken from Turks. Yeah, Texas. Hey, hey, we, hey, we don't know you. We don't know you. <laughs> you don't you, you even talk. You don't even in the comments in that. Kid we don't know you. You sound like you listen to Mad Reggae. I'm not. Listen, you should. The step parent should definitely be allowed to discipline to a certain point. Mm-hmm. What's mm-hmm. the point? If the parent, including things, if the parent, at the point that the parent thinks, especially if the stepmother's in the child's life. 
like paying all the bills in the house or whatever. I think that the that parents should be able to. Yo, Kim, real quick, you got kids? I have kids. You got kids? I have one. So if uh, if another woman hits your child, you go okay with that? It like it depends. <laughs> like, we, we we should have so I should be able. So say for instance, my baby, my baby father is with another woman, right? Yeah. So they there, they living together or whatever. I know my kid, so my kid is there and she did whatever. First of all, we already met me and a baby mother. I mean, me and a new girlfriend. We already mm-hmm. met and. My baby father obviously trusts her around my kid because, you know, my kid spends weekends there or whatever, right? I, tr- I trust her to a certain point that if she say, yo, the kid was wild in this weekend, he did X, Y, or Z, and I gave, I popped him. Like, I, I gave him a spank. I got to get the okay. It, I don't feel like it should be. So my kid is wild and doing craziness. My baby father's at work, the kid is, or wherever, he wasn't around. And the kid, she need to call me or text me, like, is it okay if I, if I snuff him? Because, <laughs> like, no. I don't want him to, I don't want him to think that he could get over on her, that he got to be in her household. Facts. I okay, I understand a little bit, but I, I don't care, like, I, I they be wild but don't touch my people, kid. Listen. Tell me I come over listen, there and leave working. It's your fault for leaving your baby mama. It's your fault for leaving your baby mama or baby daddy. Shut Stay up, with nigga. the person you had kids with. That's Stay not with not them so that nobody else could do that. Why are you yelling? Stay with them. Thank you, girl. Thank you for calling. Stay with the person you had kids with. Thank you. If you care that, if you care that much, Stay with the person yeah, you had kids with. Everybody don't stay, stay with the with person them. that have kids. I'm That's his life, man. That, motherfucker. Don't be putting I'm your hands on people's kids, man. You get your killed kids for that. Get and yo, Listen, and man. Your get get flat, man. Hey, yo, we at the end of our show. <laughs> It is. I Let's end our show. Put your hand on my kid. Let's go. We'll do our little shout outs. Then we out of here. Let's go. Callie, um, where you at, baby? Makisha, <laughs> 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 what you got? Yo, uh, today's Black Business. I'm, I'm going to shout out my friend Ashanti. Uh, she's she's launched her her virgin mink uh, lash line. I'm wearing a set tonight. I don't know if everybody can notice. You see my eyes and shit, like mad thing. But she's, she's launched it on, um, it's launch, it's going to be launched on Amazon. It's not live as yet. Um, she already sent out her supplies. So as soon as it launched, I'll put, I'll drop the comment, the link for it in the comments. Um, so you guys support a black business. Um, for the girls who like to get a little glamorous and stuff, like it's a really good lash line. I personally don't really wear strip lashes, but I like this set. So support a black business. Uh, shout out to Ashanti and Plush E lashes. Danielle, let's go. Danielle, oh shit. We got even Georgie right now. Right? Danielle. I'm sorry. It's cool. Um, shout out to everybody who joined in. Shout out to Adele. I see you in the comments. You finally commenting. Shout out to Kiara. Shout out to this Millie drunk rock that freaking black is doing right now. Um, shout out to Candace. Candace, the Aquarius. She's been on a roll. <laughs> She's been on a roll. Shout out to my sister. Um, and shout out to Eliza. I see you too in the comments. Just thank you for supporting. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, Handsome 15, Instagram, Lot Brown, Facebook. I definitely got a fidgeting problem. I don't know why I move around a lot. That shit is crazy. I got ADD or some shit. Clearly. Um, <laughs> uh, Shout out to everybody that just fucks with us. Brown Holy Water. Subscribe to the podcast app. Leave your review. We over 100 plus. Thank you. We appreciate that. We starting to get ranked. They looking at us. They respect our shit now. We appreciate you. Um, Shout out to Lexi. It's her birthday. Happy 30th birthday to you. 30-30. Welcome to the Dirty 30, Lexi, baby. Happy birthday. Um, uh, and that's it, man. Um, Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? Brown Holy Water. Let's go. Speech your boy, black success, man. <laughs> I got on a fresh pair of construction Tim's, and I'm only saying that to say this. I was using to beat the shit out your kids, man. Like, <laughs> that day. Like, yo, if I'm doing everything else, I'll beat the shit out your kids, man. Don't don't let me be no half, no half step daddy, no half baby daddy. Nah, I ain't I ain't, I ain't with all I'm with the full program. You understand? If I'm doing everything else, I'm slapping the shit out your kid. That's all. That's all I'm here to say. You know what I mean? I go by the name of Black Success. If you want to get a brown holy water hoodie, a beanie, a dad hat, highlight your boy. I go by the name of Should have had the beanie on. Hit me on the DM. Nigga, it's too hot to be having a DM on. You know what I mean? 
Hit me in the DM. Shit, had the beat on. Shit, the beat on. Black Suits. Shit, the beat on. You know what it is. We here every Sunday, 7 p.m. Holla at your boy. Fuck with your boy. Chill. Close it out. Yo, play the play the intro, the Keep outro, the you know what I mean? We're going to do what we do. Danny on the one and twos, you know what I mean? Is it playing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we hear it? We like dancing to it. Yeah, we like to hear it too, fam. Just in case you don't you know about that, you heard? Nah, it's the first day, man. We trying <laughs> to it the first day. You trying to figure it out, you heard? Light-skinned nigga, you know what I mean? Bruno Mars ass nigga over there, you heard? <laughs> he trying to figure it out. Yeah, I got to get you, you heard? Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, we know we dancing to the thing. We know we dancing to You heard? Like... Yeah. Comes up to the big speakers. Yeah, you should come on big speakers. It's all right, though. Yeah, we got to just tear you up.